Welcome back to Cure the Common Game. Today, in deck number 822, we're going to talk about Tovalar, Dire Overlord. I will preface this with the fact that I do not like werewolves at all. Uh, I don't know if it's I don't like werewolves or I do not like double face cards. Either way, I built this. I did the best I could. I'm going to put it on the wall. I will never play it. <laughs> anyway so for three mana we get a three three werewolf of course it flips like all the others i am not going to flip them i have 35 creatures in the deck and that would make this video incredibly long if i uh, flipped over every one of these werewolves hence the reason why i don't like double face cards but whenever a wolf or a werewolf you control deals combat damage to a player you could draw a card so there's some built-in card draw at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more wolves and or werewolves, it becomes night. And then you can transform any number of human werewolves you control daybound. Now, we uh, they give us this cool little day-night thing here. Um, so, <clears throat> let's look at our ramp first. Or mana fixing, shall we? We have Thoar Stone, Rampant Growth. Gruel Signet, Explore, Far Seek, Ranger's Path, Search for Tomorrow, Gruel Clue Stone, and Locket, Commander Sphere, and Mana Geyser. Uh, besides the Commander, of course, we have a little bit of card draw and Faithless Looting and Fecundity. Uh, I have one Planeswalker, Arlen, the Pax Hope. Uh, I love this art. I mean, I, I just hate that, you know, it, it's a double face card. Before we get into the wolves and werewolves, <clears throat> most of which are wolves, only have six actual, or most are werewolves. I thought hard about just doing wolf tribal, but it feels like I did that a couple of hundred decks ago. I, I didn't look into it, and I, I figured I've got to use these cards at some point, right? So I might as well do werewolves. So before we get into the creature base, let's look at some of the um, ancillary things, you know. Full Moon's Rise. Uh, your werewolves get bigger, you can sack it to regenerate all werewolves. That's neat. Um, Howl Pack Resurgence. Pack's Betrayal. Dire Strain Rampage. Unnatural Moonrise. A fog. Because, you know, sometimes you need it. And then Reap. Uh, black is a very popular color. So, uh, getting uh, getting some cards back. <coughs> now, let's do our, our wolves, shall we? We have Emmerwolf. You know, given plus ones. Uh, Spirit of the Hunt. Silver Fur Partisan. Ulrich's Kindred. Night Pack Ambusher. And werewolf pack leader. Now, all of the rest of these are double faced werewolves. So here we go. Village messenger, wolf bitten captive, dusk watch recruiter, Ovenwald captive, scorned villager. Kessig Naturalist, Outland Liberator. Just take a moment. The um, I love these style of artwork that they chose to do with the showcase. And a big shout out to my play group, uh, Chris, Danny, Jim. They give me just about all of the showcase versions that I have. I think I pulled the Arlen, and I think they provided the rest. Uh, so, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Mayor of Avabrook. Gadstaff Arsonist. Sage of Ancient Lore. Vildenpack Outcast. Burly Breaker. Tireless Hauler. Village Watch. Solitary Hunter. Mondronin Shaman. Sure. Instigator Gang. 
Fang Blade Brigand, Tavern Ruffian, Breakneck Rider, Gar Reach Bandit, Hermit of Natternals, Reckless Storm Seeker, Spellroom Painter, Hound Tamer, Lamholt Elder, Daybreak Ranger, Bird Admirer, there's a lot of errors. Harvest Eyed Infiltrator, see? <laughs> and we have a little bit of removal here, you know, uh, Vow of Wilderness, v Vandal Blast, because that's just a good card all the way around. Rabid Bite felt like something that belonged in the deck. Uh, Raise the Effigy. And Whirlwind, because typically speaking, werewolves do not fly. And then we have our non-basic lands. I know Kessig Wolf Run should be in here. I didn't have one, and honestly, I didn't care enough to get one. So, I know that sounds terrible, but... Uh, <laughs> Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse. Rogue's Passage. Command Tower. Thriving Grove and Thriving Bluff. Path of Ancestry. I mean, we're doing travel. Uh, Scar the Rage Pits. Granting that trample is something useful in just about any girl deck. Mounting Valley. Rugged Highland. Timber Gorge. Girl Guildgate. Gazandu Refuge. And Gruel Turf. And that is it. I know that went rather quickly. Um, uh, like I said, the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. If I just... Because I, you know... I don't know. So... Nope. Oh, tilting the wrong way. 822 is done. We'll go put it on the wall. And uh, since I got a little time here, uh, we're at seven and a half minutes. Gonna um, been asked a lot by y'all for merch, like T-shirts and stuff like that. Uh, I have, I have the logo that I use on the channel, uh, obviously here. But uh, T-shirt designs, that's that's what I'm I'm looking for. So uh, if you are any good, uh, I'd like to come up with you know what, two three. I don't think they care as to how many, but uh, some good t-shirt designs. If you have any ideas, uh, you know, shoot them at me. Um, let me know. But that's what we've got for today. And even with that, with filler, we're only at what eight minutes. So uh, <laughs> today is what is this? The twelfth. Y'all are seeing this in theory. Um, so. Midnight Hunt is right, or I'm sorry, Crimson Valley is right upon us, the wedding of the millennia, apparently, so we're going to all enjoy that, I'm sure. Still got, uh, what is that, probably a dozen decks left from Midnight Hunt. I wasn't quite as on the ball during Midnight Hunt season as I should have been, I know, so... Those may sprinkle in, because, let's see, Friday is, see, Friday is pre-release. So, we'll get a little bit of product then, not a whole lot, but we'll get some then, and then I can build o over the course, so I may have to sprinkle in some more Midnight Hunt until I get Crimson Vow, and then they may just be all intertwined, who knows. You know me, it's kind of random. It's liable to be a Legends deck in the middle of all that, so who knows. But uh, I've got several that I'm working on. I started pre-building the 25 from Crimson Vow so as to try not to have the same problem I had with Midnight Hunt. So, heck, I may get done with Crimson Vow before Midnight Hunt. Who knows? Anyway, that's what we've got for today. Just bringing you all up to date. And if you got any, any T-shirt designs... Uh, hit me up, let me know in the message below, 
um, or heck, just email me the image if if that's your thing. Obviously, I can't do anything that's not my copyright. So, uh, but I appreciate it, and uh, we will talk to y'all later. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and shuffle and cut.